How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Halligan and this is my YouTube channel about biathlon. In today's video, we are going to be watching the uh, the sprint race from Nova Mesto, Namorave. It's the IBU Summer Biathlon World Championships. As you can see here, they're using roller skis because they're on pavement. A uh, lot of fun. Let's check it out. All right, jumping ahead to the first shooting here. We got Marketa Davidova. She is your winner from the Super Sprint. Uh, just the day before. Looks like there's a lot better weather out here today as the uh, super sprint was super rainy. A uh, lot of like pouring rain <laughs> during the during the race. So go back and watch that video uh, if you haven't already because it's it's pretty funky with all the rain. Uh, really good start here from Davidova. If she can shoot clean here, I'm going to say she's probably the winner. She's uh, she's looking really solid the last couple years. There's clean shooting from prone. So setting the bar really high. I like to see it. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, she, she's been looking really strong the last few years, really making a name for herself in the biathlon world. And uh, yeah, I think if she can just keep shooting well, her time is going to come. As we see Monica Honzic here, uh, the veteran with a miss on her Bravo target, hits the next one. So normal penalty loop here, 150 meters. So Monica looks like she's actually skiing a little bit faster because uh, she started right behind Davidova, but she is going to be... Uh, a little bit behind with the one miss so um, these will be the two that we're gonna want to watch today because they're the biggest names in the field uh, however we do have some Russians that you know always do very well in the summer so good shooting here from uh, Polona Kalemkik Kalemchik of uh, Slovakia Slovenia sorry <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing I'm sorry I messed that one up from Slovenia, good split there, as she's now in second place right behind Davidova, so that's gonna be really good. Hey, it's Andre Morovic, how you doing, my man? Always got a smile on his face, what a guy. All right, Davidova in to shoot number two, only a two, uh, two shooting stages this race. Again, if she can clean here, I bet she's gonna be the winner. Um, she's, like I said, looking really solid. And... Yes, all right, so Davidova is clean. Uh, we'll see if anyone can dethrone her. All right, here's Hansich to see if she can get in front now. She had a miss in her prone, but she has a faster split going into shooting number two. She's got three hits here, four hits, five. Okay, so Hansich is now going to be neck and neck with Davidova skiing very fast. She has a miss, but she is staying right there with her. We'll see what her split looks like as she goes through the checkpoint here. And yes, okay, Monica Hanzic has a one second lead over Davidova. And remember, Davidova was bib number seven and Hanzic is bib number eight. So Hanzic started 30 seconds back of her. So she has the advantage now. She just has to get splits from her coach to know exactly where she is on the course compared to Davidova. Those two are the biggest names in the field here. So they're definitely going to be the ones to beat. And right now they are leading the race after two shootings. Okay, I just pulled up some stats on Polona Klemnech because uh, she is the only one in contention right now to compete with the top two. Her best race on the World Cup is ironically at Nova Mesto in the sprint. She came in 32nd place. So going back to her stats right here, she's a really solid 75% shooter, both prone and standing, 75%. She cleaned her prone. You know, if the stats tell us anything, she's going to have a miss, at least one in the standing. All right, back to Nova Mesto. Polona is in the range now. She is only six seconds back of Davidova into shooting number two because remember, Davidova is leading after shooting number two. Hanzic only pulled ahead of her after the shooting. And Polona cleans! She just went 0-0 on the day. That's probably one of her best shootings ever. We're going to have to double check to see if she's ever done that at an elite level race. We got to get her split here. Okay, just went back real quick and looked it up. Polona has hit all of her targets twice in her career on the World Cup. That race in Nova Mesto where she came in 32nd and also in the sprint in Rupolding back in 2019. She also hit all her targets. All right, here comes Davidova to the finish line. I'm sure she was getting splits. That Hanzic is right behind her, so she's got to go as hard as she can. We can see Hanzic in the background. Oh, man, this is going to be close. It's going to be close. So Davidova finishes 55 seconds up on Mankinen with clean shooting. Let's see if Hanzic can close the gap. There she comes on the right side of your screen. She's going to get it. Wow, she put in so much time on that lap. 11 seconds. She just put 10 seconds into Davidova in one lap, and she had a miss. She had one more miss than Davidova. Crazy good race for Monica Hanzic. Uh, 
just super impressive. But now we got to see if uh, if Clemensic is going to be able to catch Davidova here. Here comes Klemensik into the final stretch. She's already 10 seconds back of Hanzic, so there she goes. She just lost the race against Davidova, but she is going to be well ahead of Suli Mikkonen from Finland. And there you have it, third place. And that is a crazy good race for Polona Klemensik. Only like, I, I forget what it was, but maybe 10 seconds back of Davidova. Super good result for her. Okay, we have one challenger. For the podium right now, we have Margarita Vatsaleva from the RBU. Uh, really interesting. Check, take a look right underneath her hand. That's where her magazine is. That's pretty cool. Um, if she can clean here, she will be in contention for the podium. And, oh, she's taking her time. Oh, she missed it. I knew she was going to miss it. Oh, no, I dropped my Blizz. I got to use my discount to get a new pair. Um, I can't believe she missed that shot. That was such a... I knew she was going to miss it right when she uh, had the had the pause there. I knew it wasn't going down. But uh, so she's going to be at the penalty loop. And by the time she comes out, I think our podium is going to be set in stone. And yep, after that last slap, uh, Vasileva is now 25 seconds back. Gets out of Julia Zima. Julia Zima, so that's good race for her. Uh, but not on the podium. But hey, I'm sure she's proud of that. I mean... A top four at world championships uh, is something that you can definitely be proud of. All right, everybody, before we head on to the men's race, I want to let you know about a little promotion we got going on right now over at enjoywinter.com. Use the promo code Brian Halligan for 10% off your purchase of all the Nordic and biathlon equipment they have over there. That includes Blizz sunglasses like the ones that just fell off of my face. Luckily, I got another pair going on. So head on over to the website, enjoywinter.com, promo code Brian Halligan, 10% off, and it helps the channel. All right, men's race now, starting off with uh, Flowerant Claude here. And uh, look at this guy going with the, the summer kit today. All right, Adam Valchevac here, he was uh, out last year, I think due to COVID. So we didn't see much of him last year. And by the time he did return, his results weren't super spectacular. He's already got two misses here. And unfortunately, he is extremely fast gear. Okay, finally takes corrections after two misses. Personally, I would have liked to see him take a correction after two misses. Uh, hits his last shot, but uh, yeah, you can just tell he looked a little dejected after that. Florent into shooting number one. He's got two hits so far. There's a miss on Charlie. Hits and hits. So he had a good split. He was 13 seconds up coming into shooting number one, but with a miss there, he's probably going to be in like second or third place. Shooting number two for Florent. Cleans his target, so he's going to have a big lead, I think, coming out of this one after shooting number two. He's only bib number eight, so there's a lot of other people in the field that are going to be trying to catch him, but he is setting the bar, shooting one zero. It's actually not that bad. That's a good, good shooting, 90%, um, and, you know, he's skiing pretty well, so he is going to come past the checkpoint here as your current leader, 36 seconds down on Ratna from Finland. So Florent Cloud is the standard that athletes are trying to hit now after two shootings. All right, Jacob Stravecki, he is six seconds down going into shooting number one. So if he cleans here, I'm sure he will move into first place, assuming he's got a decent shooting rhythm going on here. Hits two shots to start. Hits three. That one was a little bit later. Uh, back to his normal pace. Oh, and he misses the last shot. So he's, look at him jump off the mat and get through that penalty loop. Uh, Jacob is going to be in the penalty loop. And he probably looks like he would have been close. Yeah, he would have been in the lead had he hit his target. So um, he's got to get through that now. If he can shoot clean, I'm sure he'll still be in contention. All right, Vatili Trush from Ukraine. He's got a 24 second lead over the competition going into the shooting number two so if he hits his targets he's going to be your new current leader uh interesting way of loading the magazines there he had a he was pretty bent over uh hits his third misses the fourth and hits his fifth so with uh 90 shooting today it's going to be close for him coming out of the penalty loop all right here comes michael kreshmar he has a 25 second lead we did not get to see his prone shooting but he is going to be your leader into shooting number two. Remember, this is prior to actually taking shots. So if he can hit his targets, 
he will be in the lead and actually at this point he's got such a good lead and we know that the other guy trush from ukraine had a miss and look at that two seconds back in third place here's krishmar four and oh he's pausing he's holding but he hits it all right krishmar goes clean he has 30 seconds to get through the checkpoint krishmar coming through 20 seconds up on cloud that is going to be a good split with uh, one extra hit over cloud so i think krishmar is going to be your leader but i do believe there's a few people out there who have good shooting so we'll see if anyone can challenge and we didn't even see pachinio he is the Romanian who has a lot of years of experience on the World Cup. I just looked up his results on Real Biathlon. His, again, another one whose best result is in the 30s. But he is currently challenging for the lead here. Uh, skiing extremely fast, having two misses. Uh, if he can get in in front of Cloud, he's got 25 seconds to get in. Look at the coaches running along the side. Oh man, you know he's got to be running on pure adrenaline right now. Really good V2 alternate technique. Look how high he's getting his hands. He's getting his body completely forward. Come on, man. Get in. You got 10 seconds. He's in the 100 meter stretch. Breaks into the V2. All out. Everything he's got. Yes, he's got it. All right. He's able to jump in front of Cloud. But look at Krishma right behind him. Started 30 seconds behind him and finishes right behind him. So Pinchu had the lead for like couple seconds and Krishmar comes flying in to take it so there's your top three right now Krishmar, Panichu and or Puchinyao and uh, Florent Cloud dropped down to third okay I want to direct your attention up to bib number 35 in the small picture Mate Beloga from Slovakia has three four and five holy smoke super fast shooting uh, i couldn't even talk about him he is currently in the lead coming into shooting number two so he is the only one that can challenge right now and he just shot clean super fast so let's see if we can get a split off for him and look below me beloga just took the lead after shooting two so he's going to be the only one who can challenge for the win here against Kreshmar. all right here comes beloga into the finish he's still got 10 seconds man he just lost so much time on that last lap to Kreshmar, but he is going to i think still be on the podium he's still under the time and he's coming into the last hundred meters beautiful race here by him shooting all his targets and skiing fast enough here he is coming in and yeah he is gonna jump into second place congrats to Mate here from Slovakia he is going to jump into second place and I believe that is gonna be your podium because I don't know anyone else at the moment who can contend against these three. All right, that's all for this video, everybody. I really appreciate you guys watching and giving me some feedback in the comments with the like button. And uh, if you like this stuff, hit that subscribe button so you're kept up to date on all the content coming out of this channel. As you know, we have a pursuit race coming up after this sprint race, so hit the subscribe button and you will kept up to date when that video comes out. But until next time, we'll see ya.